actually admitted this last year. I'll say it again. I actually do play some mobile games. I do. All right. The ones that I play are free to play or incredibly inexpensive. Like you spend a dollar here or there to make progress. This one's for all my baby girls. Got me that gotcha. gotcha. I love it. Gotcha. Got me that gotcha. 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 Begging for fucking tips and shit on street. It's WWE Champions. Time. I'm stupid. WWE game plays like Candy Crush. Moving gems around, breaking colored gems. I love it. Again, it's pay to win. The more money you sink into it, the more characters you can summon, the higher chance you'll get the better characters, etc., etc. All right. Got me that gotcha. I love it. Got me that gotcha. Begging for fucking tips and shit on street. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got me that gotcha. For the money, dummies. Super Cup. That was a mobile game I played like five, six years ago. A lot. For about a year, I played it pretty hardcore. All right. Even at that point, that was before everything kind of fell apart with YouTube and everything. I was putting a little bit of money into it. I was playing for the top cards. I was playing the shit out of that game. Okay. After about a year, they launched what they called Season 2, which reset all the cards in the game and made every, all your progress essentially worthless. And I said, this game fucking sucks. What a complete waste of time that this was. All right. And you know what this reminds me of? When I worked at the helicopter company, Helicopter Support. It 1 million percent reminds me of that. American oh. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. a major company, a helicopter company, it's called Aftermarket Support for Helicopters, okay? They're flying around, uh-oh, uh-oh, things are breaking down, P -p parts are wearing out. We're a one-stop shop for helicopters, because I was told, we see potential for you. Uh-oh, you're better than just working customer support. Revamp the business from ground up. You can map it out and find bottlenecks and find shortcomings and find helicopters so that our company runs more efficiently, okay? So I busted my ass, I worked my ass off, I did double work, double, double work, never got paid for it. And you say, oh, it's part of the process, man, it's just part of corporate America. Fuck you. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. Gone forever. Band, 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 band. to me fuck you why don't you listen to me you don't know shit it happened to me so shut the fuck up why don't you listen to me because no one can So shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Cause no one cares. It happened to me. Fuck you. Why don't you listen to me? You don't know shit. It happened to me. So shut the fuck up. Why don't you listen to me? Cause no one cares. It's, it's disappointing uh, to me, and it's sad, but at the same time, you know, it just, once again, all the detractors, they said this was going to happen, and they were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Like, we totally fucked up. Oh, no, fuck all that noise. Get you a bottle of gin from Total Wine. Fire up your TV. Drink your drink your gin. 
Drink your drink your gin. Consequences have actions, pep. Here's what you gotta do. Drink your drink your gin. Drink with Pepsi later on. Play your fucking WB champions. Consequences have actions, pep. Holy shit, Bill. The detractors. They were right. Yeah. Holy shit, Bill. Your detractors. They were right. Yeah. Holy shit, Bill. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Yeah. Like, we totally fucked up. Stop being a fucking victim. You fucking bitch. You fucking asshole. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself, bitch? They were right. Like, we totally fucked up. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest and begging for money and people wanting justice. He is not a real person. He is not genuine. He is not honest. He's a scammer. I just see a scammer. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. Your detractors. They were right. Holy shit, Phil. I just see a scammer. Bagging. Like, we totally fucked him. Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this hate wave on him, and it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. American Mall. Account! Why do I say I'm not a children's entertainer? Because I'm not a puppet. I'm not here to play a character. I'm not here to pretend that I'm something that I'm not. I don't dye my hair. I don't act stupidly constantly to get attention from children. I don't do stupid pranks. You know what I mean? I don't cause drama. I'm here just to play games and have fun. I'm a legitimate gamer. Big up your dad. I eat banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I eat banana, tasty banana. Please don't feel it comes in the middle. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Squeeze banana, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Act and talk a certain way with certain mannerisms, certain over the top reactions. Screaming at the top of their lungs, jumping, flailing, doing weird things, constantly on camera. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana, please the peel it comes in the middle. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. I need banana, tasty banana, put banana in my mouth, tasty banana. I need banana, tasty banana, please the peel it comes in the middle. Put banana in my mouth, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. Squeeze banana, squeeze banana. Put banana in my mouth, in my mouth. When we hit the 250 vestry for that celebration, I'm going to debut a new vest. There we go. Celebratory bubble blow. Very nice. There's bubbles everywhere. There's bubbles all over my PlayStation 4 controller. There's bubbles on my microphone stand. There's bubbles everywhere tonight. And quite frankly, those people who make that shit up should be sued. They should be sued into oblivion. But I'm not a rich man, and I don't have the means to do it. You know, some of that stuff out there has been insanely damaging and messed up the things they said about me and my family. That's completely false. And they have absolutely no factual corroboration for any of it. Look at mom. Who? I'm a dunce. I'm a dunce. Yes, that's true. He's a pedophile. He's a racist. He's a sexist. Yes, that's true. I smell. I'm a dunce. Offensive. Egregious Ross Dresser. Yes, that's true. Gifted a body that has a lot of shortcomings, okay? Bad back injury. 
a severely herniated gout. You oozing with grit, post nasal gout. Gout is a disease that makes me act like an ass. He's a racist, he's a sexist, he's a scammer, he's this, he's that. Yes, that's true. That being, being said, that 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 being said, Hello, hello. This is Phil, Phil Burnett. All right. And um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast. That being said, big ups. That being said, which vest is podcast vest? That being said, relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. That being said, which vest is podcast vest? That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T. Insight. The legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Sneak to the dead. Psychological style host. Me or cat. Artistic style host. Tap being set. Best is podcast best. Tap being said. Which best is podcast best? Uh, 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 one day we can finish that conversation. On, on air, hopefully, but we'll see. A lot of moving parts behind the scenes. Here we are, guys. That being said, the group think here, Thursday show for your off day. When Fred Meyer says so, we run this show. And uh, if you know what that means, <laughs> you're, very, you're a good legend. We got a special guest here today. And, it's, and of course, in addition to all the normal special awesome people we have here, we have the logical style host. Hello. Hello. M- musical style host. Hello. Hello. Secret musical style host. Dentist style host. Secret musical style host. Hello. I already said that twice. I don't know. Hello. <laughs> and special guest style host, Decepticon. How are you feeling, my friend? Hello. I, I prefer to be called a Zoomer style co- guest. Zoomer yeah. style guest. Yeah. Shouldn't Sam be the normal style host? Do you want to change it? We can make some history right here and change it. That's, that's fine. You've, I've, <laughs> I've, I've never asked to be called any of these things. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do that. Well, now you're the normal style host. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. fine. Okay. Yes, good good question in chat by Weeb. Who is going to make the old jokes if Decepticon is actually here? That's a great question. Oh, yeah. I don't know who's going to start that. Yeah. Decepticon is usually ones that... So if you make fun of ALT enough, you get on the show. That's what, that's what we're teaching yeah, people right now. That's what we're teaching people right now. Quick, quick, is, quick, quick business style updates. Okay, tomorrow, flare up. And let me tell you the flare up tomorrow, my friends, on the, on the WPIG. Six world premieres, and they include, they include two from ALT, one from Kaching of the Ring... Uh, one from Nothing I Could Do, and two more. I want to make sure I get all the legends. It is insane tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely hyped for tomorrow. Uh, where's the playlist here? Anyways, six world premieres tomorrow. It's got to be hype. Hang on to your butts here. We got one. Oh, we got one from Bob Starsky, Ching the Ring finalist. We got one from uh, another one from Dick Stroking Vlogs coming in hot with a song oh, tomorrow. Wow. It is going to be real? hype tomorrow. Yes, for real. Hyped? I have not heard it. It's in the playlist. We're going to hear it together tomorrow live, 8.30 p.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time. Two songs for me, one song from Nothing I Could Do, one song from the Kaching of the Ring, one song from Bob Starsky, one song from Dick Stroking Vlogs. It's too much high for one one hour of, of Dick Stroking Phil fun. Vlogs. Dick Stroking Vlogs is on a different site somewhere. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Dick Stroking. After that, you can figure out what you you choose whatever you want to do. Choose your adventure there. <laughs> I was going to um, say they're on a roll at the moment, but that sounds dodgy as well. Now you said that. They are on a roll. Quite, the, the, people, quite the, the street. They're the people that follow Derek. Around in the chats. And... <laughs> no, that's not that's not quite that. But yeah, that would be yes. a good name too. Um. Anyways, after that Sunday show, here's a little bit of programming news. We're gonna move it up one hour. Okay, one hour, one hour up. So it's gonna be 11:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So it's gonna be a little bit easier for the uh, the British style hosts and the Eastern European style host to make it on time, fit in their schedule. So it's gonna be one hour earlier. 11:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time start. 3.30 p.m. Green Mountain Time. Let's keep that in They'll mind. see it. It's going to be on the broadcast. <laughs> it's going to be everywhere. So you don't know, be late. Don't be late. If you're late, you get fucked. Okay. Can but I just say big ups on, uh, yeah. on uh, WPIG earlier yeah, was, yeah. Was, was quality oh, cool. today, man. Like, 
seeing all those old like hate live things and like just just like hand picked stuff that you just never you know you'd never normally see. I learned mm. this today. Uh, I have a clip for you. If I were going Wait. to steal from an electronic store, I would steal a high dollar item. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Meaningful content. I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> Is that wrong? I mean, yeah. So yeah, today we played a lot of stuff from Phil's employment stories and uh, Circuit City story we heard. We heard Best Buy interview story. One of my favorites from I, most people probably don't know this. He said he had a great interview, but he didn't wear nice clothes. And the interview guy said, "Why didn't you at wear those clothes?" He said, "Like I wanted you to get hire me on my knowledge, on my you know, <laughs> you with people. I don't want you to oh, hire me because how I dress." <laughs> Jesus, oh, God. <laughs> What next level show, show them the Zelda, Zelda DJs. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Four D chess. Why aren't you dressed up, sir? I don't want to be higher based on my clothes. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the nonsense. Samuel, please choose whatever you want. Let's get the oh, show wait, on the road. Before we do, just shout yes. out for Chisel in chat who's pointed out that we could have called Sandy Burger style host. Ah, yes, good. that would work. That could so work. Many options. Good, man. Yeah. Right. All right, go ahead, Sam. Start let's start do us a off message. With a message style message uh from <laughs> uh, is it Ez, Ez Racken or is it Ez Racken? Ez Racken, Racken or, uh, rolling. from six days ago so here we go hey there guys loving the meaningful style content you're making keep up the excellent work uh recently i've seen in the detractor sphere um people talking about the last time Phil revealed personal information about his romantic style partner, his relationship <laughs> with Panda was pretty much finished. So do you guys think history is repeating itself? Uh, are we about to get the divorce saga? Mm. All right. Guest goes first on this one. Set the crown, please. I don't know. I'm so iffy about like just the divorce saga because Cat seems content. Even after the big reveal he did, if that if that's not going to do it, I don't think anything will. Uh, until she like snaps out whatever day she's in, because she just looks at broken stuff all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Meerkat, get your take, and let's, let's move on. Uh, that's a no from me, dog. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, she's no she's... no elaboration. That's just a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> she's in it for the I... long haul. <laughs> I think like I think it's a good a good theory though because it does make sense based on past history. Like, what else can we have but past history, right? But I think like everyone else said, she's she's happy with where she has. I mean, especially if she can watch those vlog. You hear what Phil had this like? Oh my god, I watched this sh watching sh uh, some streamer with with Phil yeah, oh, with Cat yesterday, and the stream they're watching is like production of like well I shouldn't say that's amazing, just normal style production levels. Can you imagine watching that and then going to your husband's stream and be like, what the fuck is this man? This is how we make our living. This guy's stream, watching Phil's stream. And then she goes to a much better streamer who cares about what he puts out. If you don't leave based on that alone, it's like she must not care, not have the ability to move, something like that, keeping her there. You know what I mean? Like, it's 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 incredible. And Phil says that's bad, by the way. That guy's content, where it's just like a dude that cares about content, puts out a video, and he gets 20,000 views in an hour because he's just been doing it for a long time and cares, but... I don't know. What do you think, Steve? Either. Because, again, like you said, all we've got is past history. But in terms of, like, the silence here, we can infer from what Phil tells us that either she is completely tapped out, in which case they're more akin to roommates. So she's mm. not going to go because she's good. She's got her own place. She doesn't have to pay them any bills. You know, it's she's left to herself and her own devices most of the time. So she's fine and happy where she is. Or she's really that inept. In which case, she's not going to be able to get out. So she's again stuck where she is. So probably not. But mm. either way, their relationship is not like the idyllic partnership that he paints it out to be, and he wants everybody to believe it is. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because if you if you take Phil at his word, she watched the um, side scrollers decompression stream and was outraged at it because they were be presumably because they were saying a lot of so-called slander about phil or whatever which means that she i mean if, if if phil is to be believed then she knows about what he's up to and doesn't give a shit so if she doesn't give a shit about any of that then mm. 
she's she doesn't you know she's just what's gonna make her go yeah. leave you know i hate to say it but that puts her in dent category i mean that puts her as a member of chat level mind right someone that gives money to fill level mind and we know what that is that's a scary thought i don't believe if it you, i'm hoping, you know but <laughs> if you take I, fill it is sorry go on. Come no on. no I, I just think that's like a curious thought of like what would be that breaking point for cat like Phil mm. refusing to buy the newest edition of Skyrim when it happens or something like <laughs> what, what what would be that breaking point for Cat to like break out of this days and wake up you know mm. I've, I've ahead, wondered Steve. about that as well yeah it's a difficult one but um, yeah my point was sort of based on Sam's and it's like she if you take Phil at his word she talked him out of accepting for 50 grand mm, from Keemstar yeah. you know that, all the things that that could be used to improve your life. You could have had a honeymoon. Uh, but of all the like, lies, no. I, I, don't, I don't believe a Phil. That's one of the mm. ones I don't believe the hardest. That's bullshit. Yeah. You think she's that strong of personality to say that? No fucking way. She, she's a shield. He's just using that as an excuse. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. I should say, okay, so just short vault here. Thanks for the contribution. Big ups to Septicron. Hope all that, that being said is doing good. ALT, what does primordial soup taste like? So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No comment. Keep them coming, ahead, folks. <laughs> no comment. Go ahead, Sam. <laughs> I don't entertain right. this nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going, folks. Keep it going. <laughs> right. Here is Ricky. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, what if, it's pun, Sam. What are we going to guess? Come on, let's guess. Okay. Let's guess. I'm okay. going to go yeah. with All I Tasted. Oh, it's, Meerkat wasn't here last week. So it's going to end. You know the song that goes dun, 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 tequila. tequila at the end? Oh. But it's going to okay. say something else here from Phil or someone in the universe. So I'm going to yeah. go off the board and say salt. Salt. Yeah. Okay. The obvious okay. one is gin, and gin hasn't come up yet. And I don't think anyone's ever mm. going to go there because it's too okay. it's too obvious. It'd be fucking hilarious, but it's past that point of, mm. of hilarity now. So no one's going to touch gin. So you're I'm saying gin? Say burger. Burger, Steve. Oh, I don't know. I want it to be something Resident Evil related because you played Resident <laughs> Evil 4. But it's. For, mm. What have we had so far? We've we've had tequila and we've had the last one was um, a little bit longer. I can't remember what it was though. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to go say robust. 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 Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Robust is a great good job. Okay, Sam, let's go. Uh, we should be Dutch talking about I've got to say Dutch Bros. Oh. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. He got a package recently, so. Oh um, yeah. Mm. I'm just going to say it's going to be a monster snort. That's what I'm saying. That's good too. <laughs> that's good too. <laughs> M right. Maybe uh, uh, fam femboys because he was banning femboy names <gasps> last oh, night. Oh yeah, don't be a femboy, you assholes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe femboys. Ooze, okay. gout, chips. Okay, super scuffer. Choose one. You can't choose eighteen. That's like your name. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, play the music, Sam. Come on, it takes an hour to get there anyway. Here we go. <laughs> Keep guessing in chat though. It's time. The fact Band. that just, they just let you play is easy. Right. <laughs> this is genius. Contribution. Rum, ooze. Wait, what? That'd be funny too. Like a dragon <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> oh God, pilot hat. <laughs> Wet snort. I need my boyfriend. <laughs> For me, it was Tuesday. I'm done with that. Oh, that's good. That's good. There's so many. It's endless, man. Endless what you can do here. World of possibilities. <laughs> what is the sugar do? Like I want it to just aisle. cut off, actually. I want it to be nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the awesome. Oh, there we go. go. Burger. Yeah. Yeah. Burger. There we go. So, Meerkat's the winner there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you know, good. It just seemed too obvious, though, didn't it? <laughs> Perfect. All right. Ooh, I like the name of this this gentleman. Or lady. <laughs> yeah, this sounds. Uh... <laughs> Sam, please read it for the for the audience. It sounds robust. Uh, this is <laughs> this is Kinkside Phil. Ooh. So here's the thing. My wife, she's a big booty hoe, and uh, oh. my wife and I talked it out, and we're basically going to the audience worked up and ready to go, and then our wife will get ready and uh, keep pounding them. Uh, we only have to talk to there you go. Starting at 10.45 a.m. Pacific time like usual. Which, by, by the way, my wife hates mushrooms. Personally, I like certain kinds of mushrooms, and I hate other kinds of mushrooms. Please let me know. Email me at darksidephil at hotmail.com. All right? Thank you all. See you tomorrow. Later. <laughs> solid. Solid. That could have been worse.
<laughs> Could have been worse. Yeah, that was very much tame. Worse, yeah. Much tamer hey, than I expected. Uh, Sam, can you play uh, Caesar's one next? It's oh, only yeah. five seconds. He promised it's only five seconds. <laughs> oh, Sounds yeah. like my Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yo, Meerkat, can I fuck your sister? By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it means. I know is what it means. Is there a backstory there? Yeah, it's from Lord? some some girl that they're posting on Discord claiming she's my sister because she looks like me. Look, she's hot as fuck, man. But she's not my sister. Was it not so like I the guess, time that you yes? ran your face through the filter? Uh, no, no. It's no, just okay. some, some random chick that oh, just been right. posting her like over and over again and tagging me in it. Oh, okay. Classic. Classic. He's hot, though. So I guess thank you for the indirect compliment. Yes. That's why that's you should grow a beard, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. Makes that's it harder. A, please don't rate that a repeating meme, though, where you go around the, the group just saying that. Please, though, Kaiser. That would not be good. Start with Steve, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think might have a sister. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't have a sister. No. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Sam. Okay. Here's Stray Beans. Hey, guys. I just rewatched the interview. Did Phil's school mess up the order, reverse the order of his valedictorian <laughs> voting. What the fuck? How can he be this dumb? <laughs> Often asked question. But can it's we been assume... proven, right? Yeah, go. The valedictorian has been proven. Someone went through the ops of calling the school, right? And they Yeah, 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 yeah. it has actually yeah. been proven. Yeah, he yeah, is yeah. a valedictorian, sadly. <laughs> I'm just right. assuming this is related to the bit where they're talking about like having a business plan and working out business expenses because obviously business degree and that's the part of the interview where they really work on him over that. They're like, how do you not know what your business expenses are? How can you not like keep track of that? So I'm assuming I it's related to that and it's like, mate, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember how it came up. Uh, they they moved on to it, didn't yeah. they? They moved off one thing and moved on to that. Mm. business plan yeah. thing they yeah, asked him like... explicitly yeah huh? oh because yeah, he tried to nice. move on to champions didn't he sorry to septicron but that was the point where he tried to move on to oh, i know what we're, we're all thinking it so let's just talk about it and they were like no 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 not champions yet we're talking about this right now so they yeah, held that... it down on that for a while mm. Mm. no no steve steve's right <laughs> I, <laughs> I was remembering wrong so much happened in that interview mm. yes all they did that twice together. too Phil was like, let's move on. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I see where you're going with this. You're going to talk about, you know, a certain individual. And then Craig's like, no, 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 no. Don't do that, motherfucker. <laughs> Calm down. Pump the brakes, kid. You know, that was so awesome. Another Always looking for a way to, to, to talk about detractors, isn't he, throughout the whole thing. And it, that would have been another one where he gets to say, uh, they, they harass my one of my regulars and all the rest of it. Mm. They didn't even give him the chance. It never came up. It was great. <laughs> Just ready to filibuster, fila filibust, or as Phil always does, you know. Anyway, speaking of, are you all feeling very milked by the um, the side scrollers boys? Because apparently they're just milking detractors for all they're worth now. Oh yeah, so, yeah. We get milked. I wish yeah. I was from from Adam, but I'm not. <laughs> Deceptricon said that earlier too. I mean, they've, <laughs> they've pretty much I, done. I, I one... milked any oh. day by Adam. <laughs> 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 they, they've done what they set out to do you know they they have con they've, they've done a big thing and then they've retained a certain amount of those those viewers because you you occasionally uh have a look and see what's going on you know just because it's a good podcast and um you'll see regular names in there and, and they're not necessarily talking about phil so it's done its job you know yeah that's, uh, yeah, yeah yeah big ups that one is even outside of it. even outside of like all the money they did that they earned sorry they did well from that because they, they put the work in and they were entertaining and they they maintained an audience so mm -hmm. they've won basically phil phil came out of that the loser <laughs> in so many there, ways no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because now everyone that gives money remember like, you know, remember the another fail of failure phil was saying wings come on you could be in my chat now if you know you can be in my chat <laughs> You oh, won't yeah. turn off twenty four hour mode, though. We should say <laughs> that too. Hey, wings, you, you could be in our chat now if you want. We'll we'll, we'll accept it if you want to. I mean, that's cool with us. Oh, PewDiePie, you could be in our chat if you want. You know who, who else? Markinator, uh, Van Gogh Video Game Nerd. You can all be in our chat if you want. Keemstar. No, that's cool. no not Keemstar. No. <laughs> okay, not he derails. 
Blood money. <laughs> Blood money. <laughs> Misery anyway, broker. Just, yeah, Wings got so much money, and he's like, "That's that's oh, there's just fucking idiots." He's milking the idiots. Wings didn't ask for this. You made him go there because you asked for Wings to do something, but he can't even be on video. So what are you going to do? It's <laughs> such a good move, though, for him to to be invited into Phil's chat, and then he just restreams Phil's stream. <laughs> 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 And, and gets like four times the viewership or whatever it was, and loads more money. That was far more entertaining than that Phil's actual react. It, yeah, my it, favorite moment was. was just Wings realizing, like over an hour in, he hasn't began the content. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the moment of regret. <laughs> yeah, Wings dipped out too. He's like, "All right, I'm done." And Phil's yeah. like, "You see what happens? Don't you understand that you get drop a lot of money? What are they gonna do? You know, of course they're gonna stop." Like. I don't understand how that's like a negative point. Like they making the decision to stream less because they don't need to stream for eight hours like you, you know? That that's almost a self-aware moment where it's like he gets those tip bombs at the very end of his stream, where it's like <laughs> he feels like he's being teased along to stream the full two hours and go overtime. <laughs> All right. Let's was a, just to go yeah. back on the interview for a second, I think yeah. a very underrated moment was when they pulled up the the threat clip. <laughs> and he was like, I have your name and your address. And then Adam is like, this sounded like a threat. Uh, no, I was expressing my anger in a threatening fashion. No, that sounded like a threat. Uh, correct. <laughs> <laughs> he cut out so quick. when he, he, didn't, he saw his semantics bullshit wasn't going through because it's obviously a threat. You yeah. can't like mental gymnastic your way out of it. And then he was like, hey, correct. <laughs> he, he should have leaned into it. Say, not threat, a promise. <laughs> Should have doubled down on it. Been like, yeah. you know what? Not only is it a threat, I would have broken his fucking kneecaps. If he <laughs> fucking now we're talking. Should have been tough as hell. Oh, my favorite one of those was, I think it was earlier in the interview, where um, he was like, oh, fuck, which wasn't it? Uh -oh. now, yeah, God, there's just too many because now I'm thinking of like an earlier one where they were like, yeah, but, no, Phil, come back on here a minute. You know, let's talk about this. And like, mm -hmm. um, see, you're still using the king of hate. He's like, <laughs> no, 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 I've changed. I've changed. And like, yeah, but you feasted with the king and you asked the king and he's like, yeah, I do need to phase them out. I do need to work <laughs> on them. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's just something silly my audience likes. You won't believe this. They love that kind of silly stuff. <laughs> That's what he said too. My audience, My audience these audience, fucking idiots, yeah. you wouldn't believe the kind of silly shit these idiots like. That's how it came out. <laughs> yeah. That's how it came out 100%. Oh, yeah. These fucking idiots, man, they they have mental problems. I don't can't really say that on my stream, but they're mental. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if we're naming like favorite moments, it has to be like for me when he was asked, how does he reinvest into his streams? And his answer oh, was, yeah. I buy food and eat. <laughs> 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 that Look, was on that, the list. <laughs> that's probably one of my favorite. How do you reinvest in your business? I do dash. <laughs> oh, yeah. That Adam goes, come on, mate. Cost of a meal yeah. and a stream. It's not <laughs> it? Yeah. I yeah. buy big meals. Yeah. My, that, that links into one of my favorite moments, actually, as well, about the um, talking about the, the meal, because um, he kind of, you know, he downplays it. He does the feel thing where he's, you know, it's just something silly. But he says, oh, people like to say I, they look, I look like I'm in pain when I do it. And it, I'm just like... <laughs> So the only thing you've got to draw on from you doing this is something your detractors say about you. Not, 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 not people like to hang out with me and listen to my, my commentary about the food I'm eating, about every individual thing that I'm eating and all that. It's, it's something we take the piss out of him for. It's just... What like, why doing? say that, man? Why yeah. say that? <laughs> Plus, it's like, it, this is like one of the main attractions of my thing. See me suffer. See yeah, me in pain. Yeah. They King say I'm in pain. It's wild. You won't believe what they give you money for over there. <laughs> what do you mean going? <laughs> meaningful his, content. His fork usage is is incredible. Watch the fork usage. He does some flips and stuff. Like I have, remember I don't like watching the food, but I watched it one time. His fork usage is really alien. Like it. You know, you don't like, how you don't like watching the food thing, but you played <laughs> the fucking video of the, all the chewing on WPRG earlier. Thanks uh, for that. That's an honor of chew, by the way. That's a, uh, <laughs> a chew <laughs> reference. <laughs> yeah, they don't okay. call him the throat goat for nothing. I mean, <laughs> the guy got skills. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> so he uses a fork weirdly then is that what you're saying you, th- th- okay that's my main point is he uses a fork weirdly yes to break it down in one sentence yes but it's more about the flipping of the fork like i'm not really the flipping just okay it's not that deep of a topic he did, uh, it's not we do also have him on record using a spoon weirdly because he tried to eat noodles with it so that that's that pretty true. weird that is true that is true no give it some credit like it he has a lot of dexterity in his hoofs, so it's it's impressive. <laughs> it's true. That's yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. <laughs> it's business related. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, okay, come oh, on, Sam. Let's go to a bit. We got it. We got a lot of bits. Forget, before I forget, yes. just completely unrelated, but when it comes to its its color palette. <laughs> oh, the palette. Yeah. I never heard the color one. <laughs> An ancient palette. God, I've only heard the food palette. Cleans the palette. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. It cleans the palette. It cleans the palette. While we're on this, during the Wings React, he was like making fun of Wings for mispronouncing stuff. And this oh, is like, God. Phil, you're the last guy. The last guy. <laughs> he says it with oh, such yeah. confidence. Cleans the palette. <laughs> it's just so weird. Like Steve said on Twitter, it's just, it's completely. Um, He's inconsistent with it because I, I was looking <laughs> yeah. through Pig Pig Go earlier myself, and it's like, yeah, he, he says palette all the time, but then weirdly he'll say palette out of no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was that was the cold turkey thing where he used cold turkey um, to sort of like as as you would to say, like, I'm stopping playing it, stopping playing it, cold turkey. But other times he'll say it to mean like I'm playing well, this yeah. like you know blind for the first time, you know, like sight unseen. It's like this, like he was talking about Elden Ring. DLC and he was like, it's not gonna be like my first playthrough, you know, where I'm playing it cold turkey. I know what I've <laughs> I know about the game now. And it's like, but you go through Big Big Go and he's done it both. He's done it both ways, <laughs> multiple times. And you're like, how do you not how do you not work that out? Has, has he mean, used it to refer to as like sandwich meat one day? Oh, uh, yeah. imagine, <laughs> like he, I gotta eat cold turkey tomorrow, guys. I've gotta eat not warm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like the Go one on time he doesn't use it. Like, all right, Sam, oh, play right. something. Okay, I'll play this. Pueril. Right. Uh, here is Quasi Wizard. Yo, what is up, you absolute legends? Hope you're having a great day. This is like a uh, renaissance for the detractors, isn't it? More and more normal people are getting exposed to Phil fill scams and lies. Now, I have a question for everyone. What clip would you have liked to have had Craig and Adam confront Phil with during the interview, like what they did the slave trade joke? Uh, Personally, I have two. The first is um, the Halloween where he dressed up as Colonel Sanders and was calling everyone (laughs) boy, like a plantation (laughs) owner. Great one. The second is when he threatened to slap the girl in VR chat. I would have loved to have seen Mm. how he tried to spin the pygnosis with those clips to try and make himself look better. Uh, Anyway, keep up the amazing content. Take care. Great question. This is a great question. Is that, is this the Q and a of the day, Sam? I think. Oh yeah, let's do it. Mm. I think it is, but let's get, let's get our guests thoughts on this as Sam makes the poll. Decepticon, please. What would you want? I mean, I I think the obvious one is the, uh, the black woman clip from, I think life is strange or something, some game. Uh, the like black pack? The the, yeah, the black pack. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think that's an obvious one, but another one for me is like his rant about how he can't uh, n- he can't skip his breaks because no girl asked him to skip a break or something, and he went on like a 10-minute rant about saying, it's for my health, I have to take my breaks. Uh, just because it shows how abusive he is to his fans. It- yeah, that's a good one. Meerkat, what do you think? What's your dream clip to play? Uh, I just have a, a quick quote. Oh, no, you didn't. You motherfucking <laughs> piece of shit talk sucker. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. I'm going to find out who the fuck you are. You are fucked, and you are done. <laughs> the look on his face when he says that. Uh, right. How was it phrased, the, this question? Sorry. Uh, which, just... because of what, what clip would you like them to show that they did not show? I would also so, uh, like to tie this with a question. What happened after this clip? What was the follow-up to this uh, oh, wrestling yeah, promo? Yeah. Like, because nothing happened. Nothing came out of it. He didn't find the guy. The guy, no, like, nothing happened to him. It was just like... It was literally know, a wrestling promo. Off. You're right. Yeah, it was just the like, wrestling promo. Drop the mic. No, go that's a different one. The, um, <laughs> the wrestling promo one's from... Um, 
uh, uh, Prince of Persia, the um, the the one that you, the heavy rain one is him talking to John, and it's a scene where uh, your character's like getting beaten up by like a black person, or I think it might be like a gang oh, initiation. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. and we're yeah, it's time, yeah, yeah. it's yeah, time, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the different ones, yeah. Because yeah. mine's one of the, mine would have been one of them as well. Because it's from Metroid Other M, where he goes thumbs down it and motherfucker, you know, <laughs> he even catches himself and cuts it off. But um, yeah, I think but all of them. Go, back before he's changed, changed you know. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I think. For me, I think the dream scenario, right? Dream is you show what they did, the, mm. the slave trade, and then you go right to the black pack, right? That's the one there. Okay, you said that's not about race. Okay, okay, we'll we'll buy that, and then go boom, black pack, and then you're hey. then what? I didn't quite hear what the Decepticon said, but uh, I was thinking about shut the fuck up about the fucking bubbles. That was a very <laughs> abusive. <laughs> yeah, I think the, really, I think the true answer is Scorn. Though Scorn is like that next one. If they did choose another clip, they had to choose Scorn. I think. Like, how do you yeah. got, talk your way out of that? I think it, most of it would have to be more recent because otherwise he is just going to do the whole. You know, that was different. I was I, changed I for all the stuff. Like, say, if you showed him the hospital one, he'd go like, "Now nah, that was." I'm different now. I've grown up. I've changed. You know. So. Yeah, I, I think a, a great combo to show that he hasn't really changed is to play this clip of him playing Pokemon and calling his viewers lazy, and then playing the scorn <laughs> clip, which is from a couple of months ago, which is exact, like almost beat by beat the same behavior. I think what I'd quite like to do is the one from I think it's one of the Life is Strange. Is it Captain? he's doing the the effeminate voice he's doing yeah. the homophobic mm. voice and then when he goes well that you know that was a long time ago that's not me anymore i'm different you you play that clip of him on his pre-stream saying the t-word slur and calling things gay those aren't slurs it's fine to say that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so why combo, are you still doing this next time yeah, okay the combo, so there's yeah. version two we get the combos going don't worry guys i'll get ready yeah, Craig's yeah. here with the combos <laughs> set up the combo the awesome combos uh yeah. ready for the clips but that's never gonna happen so anyways with um, I, go ahead with the benefit of hindsight knowing now that he he wasn't i mean i think they could have got away with a lot more they could have pressed mm. him further. So with that in mind, I think uh, I would have liked to have seen them go into the stuff that, that we made the video for, the, the, the identity theft thing, and, and press him more on the, yeah. the um, you know, the flip-flopping he's, he's, he's done about that subject. That would have been mm. great because you've got it all right there in that, that clip we put. Put up on yeah, Twitter. the one that um, both, yeah, yeah, that someone put together. It's like he said this, and then he said this, and then he said this, and it's this much, and this was... much. I think the one thing that l remained kind of unanswered because DSP obviously had like a canned response and he really wanted to talk about the identity theft. Yeah. But they did. didn't actually get yeah. into it. They got into the bank leaks, which is the identity theft, but he had a different identity theft he wanted to talk about. And we didn't it, actually it, get to talk about that. It's that, yeah. He got away with obfuscating between um, the, the financial information that was in his bankruptcy filing and the, the bank leaks. Yeah, so yeah. he got away with like, oh, you're talking about this. I think that number comes from here because, you know, I, but I don't know because I'm thinking about this and this is what happened with identity theft. And they're like, they sort of moved between the two. So he got away with having to be properly pressed down on it. So, yeah, yeah. if, if they had that as backup. Yeah, he's he's got it down in his response as as having the two things as two separate things that you know having mm. the bank leaks and the identity theft are two things to him. Whereas to our knowledge, to the best of our knowledge, they are just the same thing. And he's now muddled it so much that he's he can sort of to these to people that don't know uh, him so well that they're not going to pick up on it. It's it's mm. it's two separate things. It's not, man. You know. Yep. That's that. That's why I thought it was like the same thing. But now he's trying to separate into the two different stories. But now, where did the nine thousand go? Was that part of the bank leaks? Well, no one had access to his accounts for the bank leaks, but they did yeah. with the identity theft now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I was just curious to see his like e excuse with the identity theft because he previously said he lost almost ten k with the bank yeah. leaks incident. Yeah. I think he would have tried to if if he had he may have just gone down the route of saying oh you know something about lying to protect himself or something like that or he'd have said um, well it's it's two separate situations the bank leaks aren't real but in the identity theft someone did steal nine grand from me or something like that yeah um, which is just complete nonsense uh, the, the bank leaks aren't accurate because he's only got the one cat so. 
<laughs> and, uh, by the way, no, <laughs> if you look at the bank leaks, you can see that's another just straight out lie. He never spent more than fifty dollars on each each trip to to Petco. So we, mm. you know, like big guy, thank you, thank you, big guy, for pointing that out. The bank leaks show he never spent more than fifty dollars on a pet on a pet a trip to Petco. But, like, you why know, not just totally get normal. it from Costco? You go to Costco and you've got a Costco card. That's true too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. That, that's adding to Phil's errands. I think he likes to have errands. You know, so I got a lot of errands to do. You know, some people because, say that. Um, yeah, a, a recent bit of lore is that they get Jasper the premium litter, mm. and they need to, I guess, <laughs> go to a dedicated uh, premium litter salesman. Oh yeah, yes. Costco only, only the best cards. <laughs> That's why right. the best a, for Jasper. Didn't he stop a stream dead to stare at an email about cat litter or something? Yeah, like quite recently. <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you get those emails? <laughs> I want to say someone. List. Meerkat, did you see that? I'm sure. Yeah, that yeah, happened I, I know the lore is just like really stupid. I can tell you about it if you care, but it's it's like really stupid. He derailed his whole shit because he was ordering cat litter from Amazon. Basically. Yeah. So doesn't. Doesn't that throw away this whole thing then? I mean, well, because yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> they needed the special kitty litter and he couldn't find it at the store. So then he ordered it, but they sent him only like two packages or something. So he needed to ask for more. It's it's like the typical DSP thing. It's <laughs> It never can be easy. It's always as complicated as possible. Yeah. You can't even yeah, buy yeah. litter for your cat and be simple. But Phil is like that person that, you know, we all know someone like that. Where they say, I got to let errands on Sunday. And then you like ask what they are. Like, well, Starbucks, bookstore, little shopping for fun. Then I got groceries. And that's like their full errands day when that really is like one thing you had to do and a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Phil likes to make as many of those as possible, I think, you know, just to feel like he's busy guy. So mm. busy. But anyways, let's get to a bit, Sam. We got f six of them to play, technically, so... <laughs> What's the PNG file? Is that something we've got to do something with, or, or is that? Just oh no, that's the wrong file. I'll fix it. Don't okay, don't click right. that. It's a okay. video, but I said, the wrong, I said the thumbnail on accident. That's not me, though. Okay, also, let's... Sam. There is there is a link in our Discord. Just just so you know. Oh okay. <laughs> okay, you can watch the not, not to play, movie. but you know it's it's there. For you. <laughs> awesome. Right. Excellent. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> let's let's do everyone's favorite WPIG. Oh, cool. That sounds good. Do we have to watch fun. it as well? Or... No, no, you don't have to. No song. Oh. Oh. <laughs> WPIG 6051. It's your radio DJ hoping to convince you to stay today as I sway back and forth in the month of May, searching for my next prey while riding on Santa's sleigh. Today, 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 it's interview time. And we are going to interview a Stratford, Connecticut legend. Let me say that again. A Stratford, Connecticut legend. I don't know why I said Connecticut, but we're leaving it in there. We're live here, right? You know, we're live, right? You, you can go ahead and answer that. We're live, right? I love Adam Krigler. <laughs> Anyways, someone that has been very successful over the last 15 years is coming in today. He's been a successful YouTuber, a successful food critic, a successful WWE Champions Pro, a successful displayer of accessories. I mean, there's just nothing this man has not conquered. According to the notes he's given us, he became basically the CEO of a helicopter company all while earning the same as an entry-level position employee. He's overcome people stealing his identity and spending literally thousands of dollars for the meme of it. He's also overcome alcoholism, spending addictions, gambling addictions, and depression. And this dude, he doesn't even masturbate unless he has a really good reason for it, like depression. <laughs> this man is a true legend, and we are just honored to welcome him in. How's it going, Phil? You made the big mistake of having me on your show. As of today, March 16th, you guys are officially canceled. I'm sorry. <laughs> Great joke that you had literally a month to prepare for. But <laughs> okay, looks like you want to say something. Go ahead. What do you think the joke was there? I'm just curious. I mean, I guess it was about <laughs> since you're such a seen as such a negative guy online, that's like you get canceled just being associated with you. That's what I think. Is there more to it? I was someone who's done this for 15 years back in the day. That's what people came to watch. That's the content they wanted from me. That's what got me popular on YouTube. That kind of ridiculous 
<laughs> unacceptable, over the top, dark humor joke. Okay, uh, I wouldn't call that dark humor, but let's just move on. Oh, real quick, got to do a quick advertisement here. You don't mind advertisements, right? You don't have a problem with shilling. I have always, always in the fifteen years that I make content. Always been critical of people who shill. And there's a difference between, <laughs> oh, I have a sponsor today and I shill. Okay. Well, we have a sponsor today, and it's actually for a sword. Uh, I, I don't know anything about this sword. Could you tell me something about it at first glance? Oh, you know, it's a double-edged sword. It really is. Sometimes on the show, we like to give the guests a chance to say something they want to share <laughs> about their wives. Um, things that no one in the entire world needs to know about. Uh, maybe it's something that people already say in some communities, but things that the rest of the world, some things that a bigger audience doesn't need to hear or doesn't need to know about, especially especially since you know your wife is listening. Is there anything that you might want to share about that that'll make your wife feel like shit since you know she's listening and there's a whole audience listening about her that doesn't know anything about her at all? Do you have anything you want to share there? My wife looks like a horse. <laughs> okay, that's the first time someone answered that question. Usually we ask that question as kind of a meme, as a joke, and people don't have an answer like that, but you do. Fair enough. I'm kind of done with this interview, though. I'd like to get to the last question. This is the last question where most people have things to say like, hey, check me out on Twitter, or check me out on YouTube. Things that leave the audience feeling good about you, and if they're interested to learn more about you, they know where to go. Things you want to avoid are throwing people under the bus, or bring up information that no one on Earth needs to know except your wife and you. And remember, your wife is listening to this, and it, it also an increased amount of people listening to this because WPIG is a very, you know, very big station, as you know. So keep those things in mind. And what do you want to leave the audience with? Your final words. And remember, your wife is listening. Go ahead. She has nothing to do with any of this. Leave her out of it. All right. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling good about that answer. I thought you might have something to say, but since you want to leave your wife out of it, great. Again, I'll ask the same question. Final party words, the words that everyone's going to remember you for on this interview on WPIG 1651. Go ahead, Phil. It's funny because when you look on the internet, they will find all this public information about me and my personal life. They'll find my bankruptcy. They'll find all these statements. Did you ever find the restraining order that she had against her ex because he was hitting her? So just to be clear here, you're again bringing up information about your wife that no one on earth needs to know except you and her and the person you got the restraining order against. Just want to be clear, that's the parting word you want to go with. You will never ever, one million percent, you will never find someone on the internet saying that Phil was in a sex scandal, Phil was abusive to women in the past. I have never done that in my life, one million percent. The only thing I can say now is I feel sorry for every single human being that has come in contact with you. Because now they are in play when it comes to you seeking pity from others. I do want to give my co-host a chance to ask any questions she might have before we do let you go. I love Adam Kregler. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening, everybody. It's WPIG 1651. Let's get to the hits right away because I need a serious, serious change of tempo here. Let's get to it. WPIG 1651. <laughs> All right. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I had to get it no. out. You know, that's my biggest thing I hate about uh, the biggest thing I've got pissed about Phil for a long time. I was like, I gotta get out this way. And the songs tomorrow are about the same topic, by the way. So hang on. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, that was Rambo's best work for sure. Oh, thank that you, was... thank you. <laughs> and his worst. Yeah. <laughs> double edged sword one. <laughs> so how, can I, how can I use double edged sword as a guy? Oh, good. <laughs> that was the greatest thing ever. Great. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. I think we listened to the nonsense. Let's get the next. Uh, <gasps> that being said, DD podcast looks pretty hot there, Sam. Mm, this, yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. It's playing up again. There you go. Welcome to the That Being Said Dungeons and Dragons podcast, episode one. Let's start by learning our players' previous D and D history, starting with Meekrat. It's Meerkat. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Just you've got an accent. Check my inbox. Okay. And here's an image of Meerkat shoving a server right up my ass. Uh, <laughs> normally, I'd be angry, but honestly, this is really well drawn. All right, let's. Move on to Alt Insider. What's that, Meerkat? He invented D and D. Do you know how long D and D's been around? It's Chew agrees with you. All right, good enough for me. Uh, moving on to Steve of the Dead. Ooh. Oh, you wrote an essay about D and D in university. The hoarding habits of red dragons. Shouldn't describe. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand pages. 
Wow, <laughs> you had no life back then. And finally, <laughs> moving on though. to Fantastic <laughs> Mr. Sam. Whoa, 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 slow down there. Holy shit, you can talk really fast. Uh, what was that again? Burger. <laughs> yep. And there you have it. There are our players. So we'll be starting off at level one. Why are you laughing? <laughs> there you go. Good stuff. Very there. good. Me, it's a good me jumping crap. off point. Me crap. I like that. Is that is that the meme though that Sam talks fast? I've never heard this before. Is that the uh, is that, is that I think it's for probably I, I don't know, maybe. Or, or, or could you not say much? Uh, yeah, well, I think that could be. Yeah, that that's what I'm good. leaning towards. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, use a soundboard to communicate. Yeah. <laughs> Would I? Butter. <laughs> Butter. Butter. <laughs> Just for the record, I had word counts in uni, so I had to keep yes. things brief. Get fucked. Just, yeah. Fuck around. <laughs> right. Twenty-five thousand words. Get the fuck out of here. Keep it re- keep the realism in it, all right? <laughs> all right, go ahead, Sam. Okay. Is this M A T I or Matty Texan? I don't know. Who knows? Is, it, is that a thing? I don't know. Here we yeah, go. It uh, yeah. means mad, mad at, at the internet. internet. Yeah. Mad at the uh, internet Texan. There we go. You. That's why we got Meerkat on the team. Hey, that being yeah. said, Matty Texan here. Uh, I never called in in a while, but. Phil said something stupid over the weekend that really pissed me off, so I thought I'd come rant to y'all about it. Um, so I was watching a restream of his Wings of Redemption react, and he went on this weird tirade um, during one of the breaks about how the detractors are all fucking idiots because they don't realize they're being milked for all their worth by side-scrollers because the detractors keep getting side-scrollers broadcast the, all this money to keep doing Phil content, so they just keep doing the Phil content, and so they're just milking those teats, and I'm like, Phil, do you not realize that when you say stupid shit like, now guys, if you like this game, if you're liking this content, <laughs> if you like this chill, interactive, fun, insert, fill buzzword here content, please support it with a tip, a super chat, a super thanks, yada, yada, yada. That is the exact same thing, Phil. You're asking them to continue to support the content they want so that you can continue to make that content. The detractors are supporting side scrollers to continue to make Phil content. It's the same fucking thing, Phil. I, I don't understand how he doesn't have the cognitive, how he has the cognitive dissonance that he cannot understand that. Um, so sorry for the spurging out. It's just pissed me off, and I thought that y'all be the best to to, to rant to about it. So, big up that being said, y'all have a good one. That's what we're here for, Maddie Texel yeah. in the house. Got to sh- share the. Uh... Share the grievances. That's what we're here for. Decepticon, That's what thought. The pipes open. Exactly. Go ahead, Decepticon. Any thoughts there? Haven't heard from Steve you well. Sees. No, it's just the whole milking thing is just it, just so much jealousy in that. <laughs> mm. But the, the thing is, if he could, he would milk the tractors too. But the problem is he wants to be liked by the people giving him money. Uh, he, he can't lean into the idea that people hate him. And use that hate to push up his views and everything. He's he's just an idiot. <laughs> he's saying goodbye to so much money, right? In so many ways. If he just for a second throw away the dream of being this being PewDiePie, you know, just forget about it, man. Wings but also, and, go ahead, yeah. Him being Phil and trying to like own up to him being a lol cow it would kind of end up being like boogie where you get this fake self-aware being a lol cow and you take away from the value of actually being a lol cow so you reduce you know the the fun and it's it wouldn't be as fun because he would still be like phil he wouldn't be anything different he would still be the same guy he would just pretend like he's owning up to all the shit that people are making fun of him and he would be hamming it up and and making it more obnoxious so I guess people can laugh at him more and like give him mm. money for it or whatever. But it would still like take away from how genuine it is. Because people make fun of him for the shit that he does like for real, for real. Yeah. It, it, it's it's similar to like if Tommy Wiseau or Neil Breen like tried to make a bad film. It'd be the same sort of situation. It's not the same yeah. thing. 
Yeah. Tommy Wiseau actually did try and make a bad film. He I, did, I yeah. think it was called B Best Friends or Best something. Friends. It, was, it was like Friends bad on something. purpose. Yeah. <laughs> With like, and and it, nobody like, liked uh, it. Uh, is it the yeah, R's like in brackets or something? Yeah. It's, so like, yeah. Best it's like best fiends. Yeah. yeah. It's, I heard it wasn't even funny bad. <laughs> no, no. You, you can't do it. It's like uh, when they, they did um, Samurai Cop 2 and it was just like oh, yeah. a flat line. It was awful. Or like <laughs> I, Sharknado 2. And yeah. then three and four and five. <laughs> well, I'm I'm guessing Red Lair Media fan, uh, Sam. Oh, oh, what yes. gave it away? Massive. What, what Massive gave it away? Fan. <laughs> I like the fanboy. He's a Before stand. Phil, like they were the only thing I ever watched on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> He's no, a Red I, Letter stand. But um, I think the difference between Phil and Boogie is that Boogie is unashamed with accepting it. Phil would be suppressing like a rage and that'll just build up until it'll explode if he just like he played into it. He can only play into it for so long and then he'll blow up at some point. Yeah. So it's like he, he may become boogie like for a week, two weeks, a month, but then he'll just explode. He'll have a meltdown saying, I'm, I'm not a children's entertainer, guys. Boogie's the fucking worst, man. That's that oh, yeah, content is, is so it's like, oh my god, dude. Just tell you what you feel. They'll be like, I know guys, every situation is different out there, guys. I don't want you to believe this. I'm making my own choices. You have to make your own choices. I don't want to offend god. anybody here, but I like chocolate ice cream. I don't want to offend anybody out there. I mean, I like ice cream myself. I've been through my whole life, had bad experiences. I was abused. I don't know if you knew that. I don't want to get into it right now, but I was abused eight times. You know, it's like just just talk. He can't even I mean, Phil went like that. I mean, that's boogie's the worst. I thought wings beats the shit out of him. To say my opinion now, I wouldn't beat the <laughs> shit out of that boxing ring because Boogie's oh, a, yeah. an annoying man. Yeah, Boogie's like Twitter feed is so humiliating and just like a, a whole ass pity party. It's like a whole pitiful <laughs> existence. It's just like feel bad for me. I I apologize. I've been like the worst person. Please, please feel bad for me. It's so pathetic. Yeah, it's the lowest content he's ever on the internet, man. It's not even like Lol Cal, like laugh at it. It's like at least Phil gives us some funny bags sometimes, even in the bad streams. You get something funny that he says. We got a yeah. question in the chat. Thanks for support. Do you think Phil is scared to admit his WWE champions and bank leaks are all true? At the, the, as the last 10 people that supported would realize he's a liar would leave him. Hence, he's saying he needs to protect my family by lying. Now, I think if, you, if you're giving money to Phil right now, uh, you probably understand you, you can't be switched. No matter what, right? So Phil said, Absolutely. like, sorry guys, I did it, but I'm working on it. He wouldn't just say I'm doing it. I'm still hey guys, I stole your money and I'm still gonna keep doing it. He wouldn't say that. He'd say, I did it, but I'm trying to get better. The people that give him money would still support after that. You know what, Phil? Yeah, I'll help yeah. you out. You know, that's it's, he got uh, go ahead, Sam. Just I was just gonna quickly say it's, it's a regular occurrence that someone in his chat will say, I don't care what he spends yeah. his money on. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, he he has like a certain amount of people that are locked in no matter what. So he can admit that he was lying about everything and actually maliciously was trying to scam people. They still wouldn't give a shit. Like they yeah. just they they will just throw money at him regardless. Kool Aid is is been drunk so deeply it's in the blood right now. And they, yeah, that that's my favorite gimmick about Phil is that he mixes up the Kool Aid and drinks it first, and then he passes it around. <laughs> <laughs> i think it's i think it's partly that and partly they just they they are either actually legitimately like him and and everything else is 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 nothing like they don't even consider anything else it's just i like what you're doing i like the way you're playing this game or like we've always said they just don't care no they it. don't have anything else that's well, it. Yeah, yeah. It. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah. like, like, fucking, like, uh, like, fucking cat. Nothing else, yeah. man. What, where's mm -hmm. she gonna go? You know, she can't. Th they're so she invested. has parents to even go to, guys. She doesn't. You know. But yeah, anyway, I mean, the, the they're just so like invested in the us versus them. They're on Phil's side. We have to keep mm. helping him, or they just don't care, or they find it funny to enable him and watch him melt down regularly. I think that's a big part of it as well. Yeah, I think there's a lot of them that are, that are kind of in the middle and just like to see it keep going. Um, I think that's uh, probably more than you'd think. I think there's, there's people that aren't necessarily detractors, but aren't the other thing either, but they don't mind giving him money. Been fans since, yep. you know, 2003, guys, whatever. <laughs> Come on, you could think of an earlier date than that. <laughs> well, for me, it's tough. <laughs> I mean, we just go back that far. I'm not that old, so. Anyway, come on, you can just pick any number. It can even be a negative. Five. And you're five. five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Jesus. All right, go ahead, Sam. Okay. Move on. on. Well, we've mentioned him already, so let's play his message. This is Big Guy. Big Guy. Legendary game is coming. Once again, Phil complained about a food video he was reacting to. He actually got disappointed that the video comparing the American McDonald's menu to the Japanese one did not include the people eating the food on camera. (laughs) They had nearly the entire menu of Jesus Christ. Of course, they didn't eat 50,000 calories for a YouTube video. And the point of the video was the differences between the menu. Not a taste test. What's, what is this weird obsession he has with watching other people eat food when they talk about it? Is that why Cat has turned into a blimp? Is it some sort of passive-aggressive, <laughs> narcissistic plan to normalize his gorging with the pig episodes? Is he trying to pignotize the dense into thinking eating Chinese food one green pea at a time is somehow normal? Or has 20 years of gin and total social isolation destroyed his understanding of object permanence? And he comp- <laughs> can't comprehend how someone could review food without seeing them eat it. Or is he so paranoid from the side-scrollers interview that he can't trust online food reviews unless he sees the person eat the food? <laughs> I mean, he's at the point where he thinks his entire business is at risk if he makes Wings of Redemption a mod for six hours on his second channel. <laughs> I can't remember a time when Phil was ever this detached from normalcy. Good takes as always. Steve, what do you want to say there? But I mean, like, who needs to see people review? It's McDonald's. You all know yeah. what McDonald's tastes like. Why do you need somebody to go? Yeah, it tastes like a Big Mac. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! I thought, like that's not mix. the point. You know, I, like they, like they're not. It's not a taste comparison. They're comparing like the menu size. You know, it's yeah. it's like, hey, here's what large fries are in America. Mm-hmm. Here's what they are in the rest of the world. Oh, look, it's much smaller in the rest of the world. How weird! <laughs> it's that. I think so it's partly the. I think it's. Sorry, you great. Yeah. No, no, no. Looks like you would say something, but guess. Well, say, no. birds. No, right, no, I'll go if, again. If, if, just Steve, <laughs> go again. No, um, I've been there for both of those because he's done it twice: mm-hmm. the uh, mm-hmm. U.S. versus Japan and U.S. versus U.K. I think Steve, you were on for the U.K. Yeah, one. we watched the U.K. one. He, yeah, yeah. He mm-hmm. watches the whole twenty-two minutes and makes it like he makes it its own segment on the DSP reacts mm-hmm. clip thing. He has an obsession with food on that channel for some reason. Mm. If the, if it involves food, he's watching the whole thing for some reason. Someone delivering food, someone making food, someone eating food. <laughs> he will watch it. Like like um, someone was cooking McDonald's burgers, and he could kn- he knew each menu item by the box. And the <laughs> that was amazing. That was <laughs> fucking incredible. He he is he's obsessed with McDonald's, and there was that one. Someone just went to buy a Big Mac and walked out and didn't eat it, and he was furious that they didn't <laughs> eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Sam. Uh, I think it's the uh, second thing that he said, the uh, making it seem, making what he does seem normal. He, he said it a lot better, but the, you know, normalizing the idea of eating food on stream, I think that's a big part of it is, is why he's so obsessed with it. But I also, no, no, that's it. That's, that's what yeah. I think. I think it's about like his scat thing and cats and food. It's like the safest content you can make. So it's like, I know what I can talk about here. Like I, I know I can handle this clip. I got stuff to say mm. about this clip. So here's yeah, right, my wheelhouse, right. boys. This is my wheelhouse right now. McDonald's. I know that. That's a Big Mac wrapper, boy. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, along that the uh, line of reasoning, I think that's one of the things he has like true confidence in. He can always talk about food because that's he knows so how things yeah. taste and he knows that you put them in your mouth and then they you feel something and then oh, your but... stomach feels good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But there was something that big guy said towards the end of the clip that I can very much agree with. I've never seen him like more detached from reality because I see some people say like Phil is now at his most boring. But dude, just like take a step back. In in what was it like 2017? He was bitching about paying his taxes, and now we get like a 20 minute rant segment about some dude playing on PC and being better <laughs> at, at Resident <laughs> Evil than he is. And then we transition into a 40 year old man's birthday week, and then we transition <laughs> into a random rant out of nowhere about literally anything. Just like make up any topic and he can make a rant out of it. Vitamins. This dude is like lost his complete <laughs> mind. He is gone. Yeah, vitamins. Vitamins. Oh, we got a vitamins rant. The tractors, dude. 
<laughs> fucking vitamins, dude. Jesus Christ. It's like Daddy actually is. fascinating to observe yeah. like on every day he's going to say that he's in a great mood, everything is cool and chill and 10 minutes later he's going to find out some way to have some outlandish insane rant about something that makes no sense and has no reason to be ranted about. He's going to make it happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's there's so much to to pick apart like his business, his presentation, the things he says, the way he looks, you know, just if whatever you're into, there's something different, which is why I think there's so many varied detractors now. Yeah, I you know... going to say quotes about burgers. Oh. <laughs> so burgers. many varied quotes about burgers. <laughs> <laughs> also, shout out once again to Chisel in chat, who's pointed out that he said brioche style bun. No, oh, yeah, real style, man. <laughs> but when he said times. real life style game, I heard. I thought it was cottage style cheese is a classic <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, we're getting over mulled style wine. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have any of these on here. Oh, that's my next project. Styles, man. Yeah. Styles is not going away. Like burgers might come a day where like, oh, burgers is kind of cool, but we kind of did a lot of it. The style is like, it never ends. It's, I think with burger, it's it's what he puts before it and, and after it, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. just the word itself might get old. But when you hear, I don't know. This... You're wondering thunder for the super sticker of a burger. There you go. <laughs> I it's... love, he has to explain the super stickers. <laughs> <laughs> he has to explain them in their entirety. It's a super sticker of a burger. Thank you. Thanks I, for that. And yeah. I think that's like what interests me about DSP the most is just like, like my content, I hit like the big picture stuff a lot of the time. But then watching detractor beam stuff, when he, like, go, they go through lure, him interacting with normal things is so alien. It's just so... <laughs> It, it, it's just, uh, just random lines of code getting booted up in his brain and he's putting out information. Burger, lettuce, tomato. Uh, Dabby Issues, thank you for that. I love you all my boyfriends. We love you as well. All right, Samuel, Wait, let's go all keep it rocking. We love everybody. I think, I think now it's time for me to clock out because I got work tomorrow. I, I have to all fucking right. sleep. So, uh, yeah, take care, you guys. Big ups chat. And don't forget to read all the super chats in the end. Let's not miss any. Yep. See you Sunday. Yeah, see ya. See ya. Work style Hello. job. See Work style job. <laughs> what, a, what an idiot. What a fucking idiot. Right? Let's be honest. What a mistake. All right, go ahead, Sam. Let's keep it rolling. Indeed. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce this. Does anyone know how you pronounce this? Dweevel? Do I don't know. Querel? Dweerel? Dweerel? Dweerel. Hey, that being said, did you guys know that before drinking tart cherry juice, the SP ate strawberries to help his gout? He mentions it in his very first gout segment in 2015. Oh, okay. Ooh. New lore. Thanks for the lore drop there. Strawberries were a part of the gout uh, resistance force in the beginning. Well, of course, we'll get that verified by our fact checkers, but thanks for that. Lore drop. Big, big strawberries go. were in there. Big, big go. Check for well, the strawberries. <laughs> well, aren't there like videos with cherry juice like 10, 13 years ago, like prior to like the whole gout thing? He just happened to have the treatment for gout prior to getting gout. <laughs> Oh, oh, that that's I, this is the first I've heard of this. There was because, because cherry juice I, in the house. Yeah, I swear I was like watching the tractor beam when they mentioned cherry juice in the background and he brought it up. Ooh. It was that's some, interesting. It, it just that's happened. Cool. It just, it's a great coincidence that he got gout later and he, he's already being treated for it. It's just happy <laughs> coincidence. <laughs> One of the results shows he's trying something from Shari's Berries. Maybe he's right. been a beat customer. Yeah, yeah. Sherry's berries was out of those Sherry's. DSP tries it, wasn't it? It's yeah. Something DSP tries yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. It's a special <laughs> Valentine's Day one, but it's like maybe, you know, over the years you can see Sherry's berries becoming Sherry's uh, cakes and pies, you know? <laughs> never, never forget, gout happened not because Phil's diet, but because his aunt didn't tell him about it. <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that, boys. That's the key point. Always gout is not over. because of diet, it's because his aunt didn't tell him. <laughs> He, she had it. That's it. So beautiful. <laughs> My God, why? What? What are you finding? No, no. I just mean like, no, why, no. Why, why, like of all the things you can't take knowledge. It, it's it involves saying I've made bad decisions about my diet and like my Back exercise to- and yep. 
and everything else in my life. You know, I have gout because of my poor diet and my like excessive alcohol consumption. But that involves accepting responsibility and taking the blame yeah. for it. So it's like it's, that was my aunt's fault. Couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Never his fault. <laughs> You could do that so easily. Just say like, you know what? I, you don't even have to go that far. And say it was bad diet. Like, I guess my diet or whatever. I don't know what, how it happened. I just got gout now. It sucks, guys. That's it. You don't have well, to say you did something wrong. That's already too much. You know that well, that now, is too much. But now he can keep doing feasting with the king with burgers and to say it's oh, his found aunt's it. fault. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, we found cherry yeah, juice. The, the strawberries, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I've you did already try strawberries. Things, made changes to my diet. I've already had a ton of strawberries today. People are saying a strawberry <laughs> will lower oh. your acidic content. You don't <laughs> acidic content. Right now. You'll be better acidic if content. you don't. If you don't drink alcohol right now, you'll be better. So I'm doing all these things to not have any acidic content in my blood. Yeah. Hopefully <laughs> I can lower whatever the hell this problem is with my foot and have it be better in the next day. <laughs> so what, if the, what if his current ants are reincarnate <laughs> versions of his aunt? <laughs> in response. They've come back for the gout crystals. Yes. <laughs> They've come back to her. If you fuck with them, man, Karma's going to come get you one way or the other. And this is his aunt. I, in no, ant form, motherfucker. Was it Pixar? Pixar? We keep giving you, we keep giving you content, Pixar. You just gotta make it happen, brother. What was it? The Super Bowl event where he got hundreds of dollars to keep taking shots of gin, and it was <laughs> yes. like, it was yes. like trying to get him drunk. Yeah. But what if they were trying to cause a gout flare-up? <laughs> <That's> brothers <laughs> are really detractors, willing to spend thousands for ops. Maybe they are the guys that do the bank leaks. Okay, there we go. They are the guys mm. behind the bank. Spending the exact amount of money that Phil might have spent in the locations that Phil was in to make the fake <laughs> bank account make sense. Oh yeah, <laughs> make it make sense. I love that Craig line. Make it make sense. I'm just not seeing it here, Phil. <laughs> oh, that's another one. Could we, if if we do have like another future question for them to ask, could they ask how it's okay for a former alcoholic to regularly drink gin? Uh -huh. <laughs> yep, for money, by the way. So you you give mm. enough, he'll do it. So that's the key point. They, they well, start. <clears throat> So you go ahead. No, he'll reinvest the money he gets for drinking gin into treatment for the, his drinking problem. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cycle for his business. His it's investment expense. in the business. Yeah. <laughs> I buy lots of treatment. <laughs> I buy huge meals. Lots of treatment for alcoholism. Yeah. They um. I was going to say they started down that route with him, but I don't think they did. I was going to say they um. The uh, they talked about how he overcame addiction. Uh, but he then he but i think that was the following day wasn't it that was the decompression stream was, yeah was like, yeah they, they talked about they that talked. keemstar was obviously awesome and definitely worth it but it kind of like they had a flow going and keem came in and kind of boomed killed that line mm -hmm. so we don't know where that line exactly was going but obviously keem was worth it because keem i was, suppose at that point they didn't know if phil was going to come back because all they yeah. knew was we were talking yeah. about this and then he went <clears throat> So they were like, "Well, we've got Keem on DMs. You, you know, yeah, you might as well jump on if you if you want to. So we'll finish it out that way." And then it turns out, "Oh no, Phil can come back." So yeah, that's so you have the to funny do, you thing. Have to do that, yeah. That's the funny thing about that that situation was that if he hadn't been DDoSed, uh, he <laughs> might not have might not have actually entered the uh, the chat or you know. Oh the, yeah, the yeah, that's an interesting yeah, yeah. theory. Another yeah. Phil fuck up. You know, yeah, cat yeah. pulled cat pull the wire. She pulls the router out. That makes Kim come on. He's like, oh, and then Phil's like, fuck, I got to go back on just so I don't look like a douchebag. That yeah. makes him talk to Keem, look horrible. Mm -hmm. Keemstar looks like fucking best businessman of all time compared to Phil, who doesn't know yeah. what he's doing. Because <laughs> he, he may have just been another voice in the chat that they, I mean, I don't think they wouldn't have noticed him, but uh, he certainly, they, they're looking to put on a show. And who have you got Keem, Keemstar there and Phil's fucked off? get keem starring but it, yeah, yeah. Like i have to say it might it probably <laughs> wouldn't have happened because the conversation would have just kept going without mm -hmm. that that interruption so yeah phil fucked up there man in well, so many ways so I many mean, ways if we we're to assume that it was intentional which i'm very much leaning towards yeah yeah that's yeah. The, that's the big question right i mean was it wasn't intentional was it not it's just it's something that never happens any other time right it's not like it happens mm. all the time he loses his connection it never does and he was streamed all the fucking day you know that he, he just he business class really seen it he kept yeah. bringing it up the next day, which made it so suspicious. Uh, mm -hmm. he kept saying, "I don't know. I might get DDoSed again." Never happened. Mm. No, no. Plus, it's like, yeah. oh, D, uh, dist you know, the DDoS attack. Very easy to sort out in like what? What was out twenty minutes? Less than that that you yeah. was gone for, and that was it. No other problem. Oh, That's no. totally how it works. Oh, yeah. you know? mm. 
it's not just continuous a weird move. thing. Yeah. yeah. If he didn't come back, then I get the move, right? Okay, you didn't come back. You, you that you were gonna go with the theory that it was DDoS attack and you couldn't fix it. Our right, interview over. Sorry, guys. That's mm-hmm. a that's a that's a strategy. I understand. Yeah. I don't think it's a good one, but I understand it. This do it. Come back, and then you're on with Keem. It's like, what the fuck's going on? That was a plan that went down to. That's like a fucking Titanic, man. It just mm. went straight to shit, man, real fast. It was already at <laughs> a ten out of ten, and then that happened, and it still started looking worse and worse to the common man. Way more, you know. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like the theory that um, he would. That was him bailing, but then Keemstar entered the room, and then he had to come back to to. Mm. Defend Ooh. himself, maybe to have okay. the last word, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he knew that if they, if he said, "Oh, guys, I've got my internet fixed. Do you want me to jump back on?" They'd be like, "Right, Keem, we'll have to get Phil back on to finish." Yeah. So he knew that he could come on and sort of like say, "Right, I'm having my last word." They know I don't want Keem on, so they'll get rid of him. It's great, and then mm-hmm. they bring him on again to like <laughs> fucking wipe the floor with him. It's great. <laughs> Keem looking cool as a cucumber. Phil frazzled out of his mind. <laughs> oh, him, him lighting up that cigarette. <laughs> Phil oily as ever. <laughs> Ants behind him in a frenzy. In so excited. <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> cat downstairs, literally crying in this case. In this case, she literally was crying. She's like, oh my God, the, my husband is ruining his perception online of everything. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's already happened. I don't get too deep here. It's not that deep. <laughs> All right, Sam, uh, Samuel, we better play some bits. We have a lot left. And we have... Let's do it. Don't play mine. Oh. Mine's the don't play auctioneer. That's my other one. Oh, okay, cool. Anything yeah. but that. Right. Well, I'm going to go for from Muhammad then. <laughs> oh, this will be good. Assalamu alaikum. I would like to welcome my friend Philip Bernal into Islam. Allahumma rafi fi basari La ilaha illa ant <laughs> Thank you for that. That was beautiful. <laughs> I appreciate that, my friend. That was awesome. I wonder if that was the official kind of thing or whatever, but it was awesome. <laughs> If he was you're saying something like is. gout crystals or something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. that. You're a legend, dude, if you're doing that. Mm. <laughs> Said some kind of language. I don't understand it. You some know, Muslim like, language. Don't don't speak Muslim. <laughs> Muslim oh style language. I didn't get that. I couldn't oh, understand I like, any of that. I like his singing. <laughs> just like <laughs> when he's like saying a prayer. And just, oh, God. It sounds oh, like he sings singing. as well. <laughs> oh, he sings as well. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't understand any of that. Like you have to say that. Why do you have to say that, dude? <laughs> Different language. I couldn't understand any of that, guys. I don't I mean it was weird. <laughs> and he still chose to watch that. He watched that before and he still chose to double down on watching that on his react. That's... And he was so proud of himself. But who does that sound like? Hmm? Who does that sound like? <laughs> who does that sound like? And he still <laughs> couldn't stop himself from having these shit takes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't stop it. Dude, whoever is pr- pr- like giving these clips for Phil, like they, there is that. The, you know, there's some LARPers in that group because they know what they're doing, man. The, they they're getting they're better doing. each weekend. It, it, just, it just keeps getting better. <laughs> yeah, I will say that. I'll, I'll agree with that. Yeah, definitely. We, you know, this oh, sounded like the worst well, idea in the world when he, when he said, "I'm going to be re- reacting to random clips." But this is actually getting better and better with it. With it, guys, uh, guys, it is about to crater though because Derek can now submit. Derek, yes, oh, and God. he's been submitting like a fucking man possessed. If you, he's bad spamming he's in chat. Uh, he's spamming. Phil had Derek. to call him out. <laughs> okay, here's the question: What is Derek going to submit? Because you know it's not going to be porn shit. I mean, that's funny, but it's not going to be that. Wrestling. You think so? I think you think. Yeah. I think it's going to be, be like. Disney Surely. facts about this. I mean, that's our own brand. Top 10 Disney facts about watch, Frozen. Watch Mojo clips, stuff like oh, that. Oh, no. Phil loves those, though. You fucking know it. They're not about him, of course. Yeah. Basic just, like, shit. Really, the most like, basic shit on, basic. The, on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I, I kind of want to see how Phil reacts to watch Mojo and, like, shits on their opinions on their top 10s. It's like, how's that number one? <laughs> <laughs> What? They didn't I, they didn't verify any of this. I can't wait for like Derish to be in chat. Phil, that was my video. I submitted that. <laughs> Phil, that was my video. I submitted that. <laughs> Phil, can you say my name with this with a H instead of a K? Oh Phil, you didn't God. say my name. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you it, say my name with an H, you will get my cub. 
<laughs> I didn't just say that. That's a Derek line. That's Derek a quote. quote. That's a quote in quotes. <laughs> Meerkat put that in the song, by the way. So that's why it's funny. Anyway, mm. Samuel, next bit. I think let's do one more bit, Sam. Not yeah, mine, let's do it. Okay, so what's the full title here? This is Fillionaire Halloween Special. Oh, oh, could this be Fillionaire? Hello Fillionaire? again, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Fillionaire? As you can tell, this is our Halloween episode, because we don't have an updated calendar since no one's bought one in the last six goddamn years, Debbie. So, let's get right to your Halloween question. Here we go. Over the years, DSP has informed us many, many times that he doesn't get scared easily, especially by video games. But what about books? That's right, we're going to find out which of these four books is most likely to truly terrify DSP. Oh. Is it A, Dracula? Is it B, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Is it C, Invisible Man? Or is it D, Frankenstein? Frankenstein. You can go ahead and discuss now. I'll, I'll just wait here. Okay. Pause it, Sam. Let's oh, think shit. about it. All right. <laughs> My little world. Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. There was two more, please. Invisible Man. Invisible Man. And uh, Dracula. And Dracula. Dracula. Yeah, yeah, okay. I appreciate the classics. Oh. Okay, so Decepticon, you're the guest. You go first. Come on, let's go. Um, Dracula, because Phil's the only one allowed to suck people dry. Ooh. Hey. Bold. <laughs> Throwing a joke in there. Bold. <laughs> All right, Steve, you don't have to say a joke if you don't want, but it's appreciated if you try. I think it... Because he mentioned Jekyll and Hyde recently, but I want to go with Frankenstein because he might find out that Frankenstein is the creator, not the fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the joke here. Like I'm guessing mm. there's a joke in here. Uh, no, he I'll... just actually said that. He actually okay. just thinks Frankenstein's the monster. So <laughs> yeah. I'll say Invisible Man because Phil might have some weird, like, I'm scared of that. Like, he's scared of skeletons, you know? I'll say Invisible Man is my guess. Go ahead, Sam. Last one. Well... We've done that thing where we all say a different answer. Let's I piss think. them um, off. I was going to go Jekyll and Hyde anyway. So. <laughs> Get fucked. One of us is right. Cool. Here we go. Do we have music we can put on? Editing? What do you mean, editing? I can't hear the editing now, can I? So let's put on some goddamn music. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, hi. Uh, the correct answer is, in fact, C, Invisible Man. Oh, Invisible yeah. Man oh. being a novel written Ooh. by author Ralph Ellison in 1952 featuring a nameless young black man exploring the 20th <laughs> century United States. The book deals heavily with the idea of identity and what it means to be socially or racially invisible but not literally invisible. The book you were most likely thinking of is the H.G. Wells story, which is titled The Invisible Man, oh, and probably would have shit. kept Phil's nails much further from his mouth. I know you'll probably <laughs> complain that this was unfair and potentially just playing semantics since it's only a one-word difference, but I'd like to remind you all who's in charge of your points. All right, we'll be back right after this commercial break. Okay, now really, you're putting me on. Oh. Pronounced Frankenstein. Do you also say Frodrick? Oh, Frederick. Well, why isn't <coughs> Frodrick Frankenstein? It isn't. It's Frederick Frankenstein. I see. <laughs> Again, these are getting stepped up in production values for sure. But invisible Man is one minute, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's the real Invisible Man. By the way, that's a preview of what's going to happen on Sunday for our next quiz that I'm going to win this time. I was second place last time. Meerkat won it this Sunday, <laughs> bitches. Stay tuned. And uh, that's gonna be fun. We got also. I, I already. I should have said it. We got a big, big, big hype thing we're gonna show on Sunday. Hopefully, if Sam can fix finish it, of course. He's been in the lab all week for this. It's gonna be so fucking hype if we can pull it off. I, it's, we're gonna show it at some point anyway. But I hope it's Sunday. But we'll see. It's it's very very involved, but extremely hype. I can promise you that. Sam, talk it up without spoiling it, please. Give us something. Give us some kind of hint. <clears throat> Uh, burger? No, I don't know. I, I don't know. What, what can I say about it? It's, 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 there's a lot of, of work going into it. Maybe a lot of people uh, adding work to it. Ooh. Um, that's all. That's all I'm going to say. And hopefully, okay. I'll have it finished by Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that. Go ahead, Seth, Brian. No, the way you, you say it makes it sound you've been working on it for a month. TBS React in the works? That, is that the announcement? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's this is puts that to shame how much work this is. 
I'll say that. <laughs> this is going to be something. But it's all Sam. I got the easy part this time. Sam got the hard part. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Heard that before. That. Anyways, <laughs> let's go to the next call. Cool. Here Please. is let's... Brad Bernian. Yes. Hi, everyone. Brad Bernian here. Uh, you've been asked before, you know, what phrases and things that Phil says, you know, have been ruined for you because of him. But let's put, I want to put a positive spin on that question. Uh, what phrases and things that Phil says have actually made words better for you? Uh, my example, uh, bills. You know, obviously none of us like getting bills. We don't like seeing them, don't like paying them. But now when I hear the word bills or I see bills, I just think of the two big bills that Phil famously has, and it makes me smile. So uh, what do you have? Okay, bye. Interesting question. Of course, guess you go first, so we can have time to think. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. He's ruined so many words for me, though, like like wonky and floaty. Like, like I've actually <laughs> used those to describe things. Now they're yeah. fucked. <laughs> and style, thanks. Style. ALT, that's probably, you. yeah, that's, that was going to be my answer. I, one for me is future proof. Whenever I hear future proof, it just makes me laugh that because how he says it, future proof, you know? <laughs> a rainy day fun. I'll have go rainy day. <laughs> that's me. a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, Steve, we're waiting for your answer now. We're giving you time. Go ahead. <laughs> Do laugh when I see robust. I have to admit, but I think that again, that's more us than Phil. Yeah. So you know. Okay. Yeah. Robust is fine. Sam. Yeah. I was, I, I, that was the only thing I could think of as well. But it, it just crosses over into that same conversation we've had before about like what words are ruined. It's just the same kind of thing. It mean, you know, to us, it means something different. I think this question. Um, I can't. I can't say. I don't think there's a word that's been made better by. How could it be? Like. How how could a word be made better by Dark Side Phil? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Well, he can not know how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Pure Ryle. He's made. So that's, no, Wigan. I get the question though, because like when I now if like Chu says style like legitimately, like yeah. I laugh about it because like it's okay. like oh, you said nice, nice style there, Chu. You know she'll be like you know she'll say it normally like oh that's a Western style thing. I'm like oh that's yeah that's a good one, Chu. I like that. That yeah, she, like, I suppose. hates me, yeah. but... Actually, yeah, style's a good one in that case. So's robust. I think they're in that... They're, there's they're, That's a category of its own, isn't it? They're, they're like, robust's a word I would have never really used anyway, so <laughs> when you do see it, it's like... Uh, <laughs> Contribution's a good one. That's what I laugh to when I hear that. It's like, you can't you can't separate them from DSP anymore. Contributions is like... It seems like a word DSP made up, almost, in my mind. It's like, it's, it's just... That's how it is. That's how it exists now. Go ahead, Decepticon. He's ruined support for me. Like, I need your support, <laughs> guys. Uh, like, I can't hear another creator say that without, like, thinking of Phil. <laughs> support. All right, Samuel. Okay. 30 minutes left on the clock. We have three bits left to play. One call left. You are the arbiter of our time. Okay. Well, here we go with a call first from Super Chuffer. Hello, that being said, this is Super Chuffer. I'd like to say a big hello specifically to the Decepticron. Thank you very much for having me on your show the other day. It was an absolute blast, an absolute pleasure. What is this? Afterwards, we had a moment to talk, a couple of hours, <laughs> and the Decepticron was a really wonderful person to talk to. Really interesting, really valuable advice, and I was just really grateful to have that extra talk. Uh, thank you very much for that. If anyone's considering going on their show, get on there. You'll have a blast. My big question today is about making those connections, about making friendships. Phil has burned so many bridges over his time, burned so many bridges. Is there anyone he could still forge an allegiance with at this stage? Is there any community, anyone on YouTube, is there anywhere still left for Phil to turn if he wanted to build up a friendship? Thanks very much. You be good, my little Pukos. Remember, <coughs> if you can't be good, you're naughty. <laughs> what is this outro? <laughs> uh, let's see if you repeat the next time. That's the real challenge. Okay, Decepticon, of course. You go first. We so have time to think. I, I, I've actually like thought about that recently okay. because there's like three circles of people Phil has, like his fans, his dents, you know, yep. uh, and then uh, all the normies out there. That's that's burnt. Side scrollers burnt that. So yeah. that really leaves this like people within this like in between of this low cow them like that follow all these other low cows king cobra wings boogie yeah and the problem is he's burning that bridge with like wings and boogie so heard like <laughs> any chance <laughs> of like reaching out to those people 
he's fucking it up in every possible way. He had his chance this past Sunday to have wings on, and then he fucked it up. He, how do you fuck it up that bad where wings can make so much money off you? <laughs> it's, it, yeah, like I thought I was gonna say that's my answer. Basically, is wings, right? That's wings is like his only person that's in the same universe of him like understands they have been shit on forever for very different reasons but they still are in the same breath kind of um but wings just comes out looking like a if you watch wings that that last stream he comes off like a normal dude you know what i'm saying yeah. he's the normal dude that is said some fucked up shit in his past and like got pissed and you know i've tried appearing offline it doesn't do anything he said all this crazy stuff but like it's just different go ahead steve oh no i was just talking at super chat <laughs> in the chat um i think <laughs> It's hard to pick a person because they're all going to be like, there's going to be some overlap with the detractor community. So there's always going to be like some pushback. You can never be like fully okay with that group or that person. So I think it would have to be some group that he's got like no prior affiliation with. So I think either furries or juggalos. <laughs> he's either going to come out and give you like his 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 first owner, or he's going to announce that he's down with insane clown posse. He, he board, already, you know, he already so. banned the femboy community, so that's out. I know. Oh, <laughs> Thought he had an ally there. Feels yeah. an ally. What's that one like? That one like in one his slideshow slide. used to have that one slide that was like Phil is against all kinds of whatever. It's like why is that there? Like it's fine. That's totally mm -hmm. cool to support them, but it's so disingenuous. You know, it's like come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking dumb. All right, say so what's your answer though? Who can Phil get back with? Is there anyone he can make a relationship with now in 2023? Scopely employees. That's the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's not Leanna. It's not. It's who. It's who's left. It has to be someone that understands the internet nonsense. That's only wings. But he's already he's already fucked that up. So fuck him. It's not who review tech USA. No, he's review tech no, USA. Mc, Mc, McDonald reviewers. How about that? McDonald mukbangers. Review bra. <laughs> oh my! He, he teams up with Nicocado Avocado. <laughs> <laughs> the DSP would be like, I never eat this much. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what he'd be saying the whole time. I never eat this much. Oh my god! I would never do this. And he keeps so, like stuffing eighty I, nuggets. I really throat. hope we see him react to a Nicocado Avocado clip now. Oh that, yeah, that's coming up. That's coming it's up. It's just gonna be point. health side, Phil. You know, health side, Phil. Oh, yeah. oh my God, I eat, I eat maybe two of the but, six piece chicken nuggets. I eat maybe two of those, be, and I'm stuffed. It'll be health side, <laughs> Phil, but it's gonna be the look in his eyes when he keeps watching. You, you know, you're gonna see something <laughs> change, something awaken. <laughs> <laughs> those fucking clips. If you watched, I was watching the tractor babe do the fucking the DSP tries it old ones. He acts like like fast food is like the most nastiest food in the world. Like, you know, I would never eat this. The grease. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? The amount of grease on this thing. I feel my arteries clogging now. Anyways, let me take three bites. <laughs> you know, it's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Just be a normal person. <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. No, why are you trying to be his health side, Phil? You know, it's like, shut up, dude. Devours the whole pizza after seconds after the camera goes off. You know that pizza's down, mm -hmm. down. This will last us four months. This whole pizza. It's unbelievable how big it is, guys. Right after the camera goes off, he just stuffs that shit down. <laughs> Remember, he got gout from diet, guys. It's like it's all on accident. You don't get gout on accident. It's genetic. Oh, it's our yeah, the fucking ants <laughs> and the new ants. We respect you even yeah, more. He's recovered. Yeah, he's, he's recovered. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them <God>. strawberries. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Dutch Brothers, send them some strawberries, please. <laughs> For the joke. It's Dutch Brothers, listen, here's an opportunity to show us you are a fan of us. Is to your next care package, which you're clearly going to send no matter what, include strawberries. That's a little signal you could send if you want to be a bad. Oh, there's going to be a DSP Reacts video about strawberries now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's like, that's like the the softest ops of all time, but it'll just be a little wink to us. So if you, I'm, if I'm the balls are in your court. I'm surprised they didn't try to turn that into content and like do an unboxing on DSP Reacts. <laughs> but but he like obviously opens it up and takes out the gin and all that stuff first, then he retapes it shut and does an unboxing. Retapes it shut. Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't know how to unbox. <laughs> He's just oh, always God. there, He's Phil, against the alarm. <laughs> 
his unboxings, of, you know, it's, I've been seeing on WPIG, and literally everything, including the box, has to be held up to the camera. It could be this, okay, paperwork. Okay, we have this plastic thing. Don't know what that oh is. God. It's so... <laughs> you've, you've unlocked the memory. Uh, like, there was that one with the Final Fantasy box where there's a fire alarm happening. Oh, in the yeah, background. that's a classic. Yeah. And he never opens it. <laughs> Doesn't even <laughs> open it. Yeah, that, that one was amazing. That's his most viewed, like, unboxing from the channel, I think. <laughs> like, he would just watch it for the lol. It's like, well, the it's fire alarm's amazing. going off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to fucking guys out there. Anyways, we got lightning strikes here. Whatever, lightning returns. <laughs> It's performance art. It's like the pot noodle, <laughs> the, the cup noodle thing. Yeah, it's, it's, like, you, you it's, can't. Like, it's, it's living parody right there. Yeah. <laughs> if he was self aware, that would have been great satire of like unboxing, yeah, but that's yeah, Phil. Yeah, it's yeah. Phil. Uh, he's being serious. Like, you can't wait till it's done. Like, you literally could wait an hour, dude. Like, he's like, gotta get this content out. I'm a busy man. Come he on. He was grinding. He was missing that money. <laughs> Got the grind set. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Samuel. Let's do another bit, please. You can do auction now. Auctioneer, please. <laughs> As you can tell, I had a day off from work this week. Oh. <laughs> That's why I'm, my output is very high this week. <laughs> Next item up for bid here is a house protection hatchet made by Sikorsky Home Protection Services. This is ideal to place next to your door so when trolls try to break in and do things to your house, like, for example, uh, successfully cable manage your whole setup, you can hack them <laughs> to shreds, okay? There's unfortunately some eczema oozing on this one, but that can easily be cleaned off with water and a wet rag. So this will also be apparently featured in a new action figure coming out soon. So that will add to its uh, value quite a bit here. I'm going to start the bidding at this one at $5, $5 here. We have five dollars now six, now six dollars, now seven. We got to give her a pill now eight dollars, now eight dollars, now nine dollars, now Italian feet now ten dollars, now eleven dollars, now twelve dollars, now woodland critters now thirteen dollars, now sick motherfucker named Tevin jumps us up to fifteen dollars, now fifteen dollars, now sixteen dollars, now thirteen credit cards. We're down to twenty dollars, twenty dollars, now twenty one dollars, now new TV on Amazon financing twenty two dollars, twenty three dollars, new shiny lure. Now we're going to twenty seven dollars, twenty seven. This is how you do ship a PC. We're going up to thirty dollars. Parents on deathbed, no time for a honeymoon. Thirty five dollars. We got tart cherry juice up to forty dollars. Oh, cherry juice and wrong eye will go down to thirty five dollars again. Gout crystals put down. We've got $40. We've got T-Pose, $46. We've got a Y-Pose, $47. We've got an ultra-rare M-Pose. We're going up to $50. I love side scrolls. Never mind, they're dead to me. We're going to $55. We've got an M-Bites and that. $60. We've got 6051 Apple iTunes. $70. We've got a 6051 Apple iTunes. $75. We've got a 6051 iTunes. $80. Sold! 1651 iTunes. $100. 1651 Apple iTunes. Winning bid to the Asian gentleman who is apparently already jerking off on that hatchet. <laughs> Please someone get him off. Not, not like that. So hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Let's get to our next item here. This is apparently a gout crystal refinery. Holy shit. I need a new job. <laughs> there we go. Auctioneer. Could be a returning character, guys. A lot, of, a lot of room to run on that one. A lot of runway. A lot of merch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, gutter glasses. There was too much there. There was too much to go there. Couldn't. Mm -hmm. My list was very robust of things I could say about it. <laughs> I recorded like 10 times, too, by the way. It's not easy to talk that fast, like a fucking mm. au auctioneer person. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Please. That was very non-toxic. That was a very normal, normal style bit, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Normal Can you tell he works from home? <laughs> <laughs> She was asking, what, the, what are you doing right now? Like, just answer, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing a bit. Just give me a second. <laughs> got 10 hours to give my pill. Right? Anyways. Okay. So, I think, is there another bit? To, oh, this send help. There's two one. more, I think. Yeah. We could do the Minecraft too. We have an upgrade of Minecraft. Do you want to play that for a little bit? We might not have oh, to play yeah. the whole thing, but let's play a little bit of that, maybe. I think, yeah, I think we should. Yeah, so the, remember we had about two weeks ago, I think, the first Minecraft video. Someone will make a Minecraft video that's all about Phil's area. <laughs> and uh, it's been expanded, so we could click and watch that if you want. Yeah. Uh, just a sec. <laughs> Tell with how fast Sam talks, he might have been able to pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get that going. Sam talks fast meme, just like the dentist meme. <laughs> yeah, keep nowhere. it going. Why not? For no reason at all. Yeah, it's, not, it's not like they're calling you old, Sam, is it? Yeah, this is no, true. Not yeah. that bad. Just you talk yeah, fast. So, That's kind of positive. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Right. So, okay. 
I like you keep your own pill in there as well. That was, oh, that yeah, was, that was cool. Leanna, <laughs> speak your name, Leanna. Never forget, Leanna. Okay. Bear there with. we go. Okay, almost ready. Part two of the of the recreation of Brenton in Minecraft. There it is. Right. There's his OBS. Sound good? Bigots. Sound good? That being mm. said, we are back. I am Spyro, also known as Roxanne. I am the best. We'll get to that in a minute. So there's been so a lot impressive. of things happening thanks mm. to your generous contributions since last week's <laughs> podcast. First of all, we cleaned up the area. There's still a bit of corruption, but we cleaned up the area. The, that being said, warehouse. However, there is a bit of a problem. While we have got the warehouse going, we can't actually get in because Robo Steve has oh, no. broken out. We are currently in <laughs> lockdown. lockdown. We are currently yeah. trying to contain Robo Bring him back. Steve. So before yeah. anybody asks, dude, why can't you just show us in the warehouse where all this stuff comes from? Well, it's because Robo Steve is in there. We need to contain him again. We, we're mm. using multiple Lucasade traps and we're trying to get him, but Right now, we, we can't show you where all this stuff comes from because okay. Robo Steve's broken out. It's just not my fault, dude. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> nothing you can do. Yeah. However, <laughs> we don't need to see that because we've got several things. We have got several things. First of all, we've got okay. a great donator. There's a reason why I'm a wolf. There's a reason. Because, you know, okay. the Fazbear Entertainment has decided to sponsor that. Being said, big ups. And they have decided that all of the food products for both over there and the That Being Said Museum will be benefited by them. And they have exclusively moved the Burger King brick by brick. The Maybe. Renton Burger Whoa. King. We got it all. It's still currently in development. <laughs> They've only moved the car park. Lots of asphalt for the car park. But we've got all the supplies. We've got all the Sounds supplies. Good. We've got the wax paper covered in the cheese, the letters that you can write to demand restitution, the chicken, chicken, Ooh. that absolutely fucking disgusting cheese, and of course, no Renton Burger King would be complete without all of those used needles from all of those houses. <laughs> you know. Got out, man. That's a feature. We got the wall for the gated community. But we do Ooh. have a problem. We what can't get in. <laughs> Phil didn't give me the very specific instructions on how to open the gate. So there's nothing Shit. I can do. Look, even if we get a, a button or a lever and we try and activate it ourselves. Fuck. It's not working. Guy, guys, it's not working because Phil has not sent me the very specific instructions on how to get into the gated community. So right now Text him, we are locked out. <laughs> Text him. We can only <laughs> oh, speculate about what amazing things are happening behind the oh, gated wall. I think that looks like, like something. Like some sort of wooden porch with, I, I believe that's a, a fast food box on the wooden porch. I, I don't know. Nothing, nothing Why are you toxic? But he hasn't sent me the specific instructions. One day we'll we got get there. the bridge out of Renton too. It's also out of order. Nothing I can do, dude. There's... There's no... Apparently the bridge is invisible. It must be a game bug. I don't understand. <laughs> but that's not why all you're here. You're not all here for this. You don't care about the that being said warehouse. You don't care about the Burger King that's not quite finished yet. You don't even care about Phil's gated community. I know what you're here for. Okay. And so we're going to turn it to daytime. And if we are to take the left, we're going right to the That Being Said Museum, where oh. we, we stroll up. And also, if you want to park on the Burger King, you know, there's a nice little gravel path. Well, we come up to our gates, where we've got very two special guests. Two very special guests, whichever way you want to say it. We've got two special guests. They agreed to come to the That Being Said Universe just to work the security gates. Our main man's. John Rambo. <laughs> Howard, how did you get that? Okay, apparently Howard got a fancy T-shirt. He's he's Ooh. clearly been he's clearly <laughs> been back home to change his shirt. But he's got a fridge. He's got a desk. He's got a seat. He's got all Howard. the amenities he needs Howard. to work at the that being said museum. 
And then you've got a car park. We basically, this was just transferring tons and tons and tons of asphalt. All of your generous contributions made this car park possible. We'll probably put like a couple of memorials to all of the contributors in the corners. But, you know, you can park your bike. Or you can park your cars. Are you in A1, B1? It helps not to get lost. And then, we enter. We cross Ooh. the bridge. <laughs> bridge the to a museum. That being said, museum. Where we've got even more things. You know, we got all the things from before. We've got the gout crystals, crystals of both mm. varieties. The paydays, the ooze, the whale tail <laughs> gin, and as such. But we got two new items. We found the store that sells the tart cherry juice. Yes. <laughs> and the biggest Very one, important. The specialist one. Big ups to the animal shelter. Because you can see <laughs> it there, after after much back oh, and forth God. with the animal shelter, we finally found Jasper's claws. Oh my and God. still God. be clawed. I'm sorry, Jasper. You can't have your claws back. But we have found the actual claws <laughs> that missing. is going in the, in the museum Holy shit. so they, they are now That's going the last to be exhibit. added to the museum and the big thing the one that you've all been waiting for not finished yet that'll be that'll be next week okay the monument to the pig roach king you wanted your statue we we have to make a base but don't Ooh. worry you're, you're five million you don't need five million subscribers You'll have your statue. <laughs> just, I just got to, you know, tear down all of this land. Bulldozers are expensive, guys. Bulldozers are really expensive. Come on, you need to step it the fuck up so that I can buy more bulldozers <laughs> to get rid of all this land mass. Amazing. Mm. It's Do such a simple place. idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's taking it to the mag. Yeah. I love the claws. I mean, the claws is the, is the all-star. Fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> the fucking claws out of nowhere. <laughs> awesome stuff, man. We're looking forward to future run-ins with there. And, uh, yeah, cool. Any <laughs> thoughts, Deceptacron, please? What are you here for? The, the, the amount of time. I know. <laughs> the amount of yeah. time is, is insane. Even, <laughs> like, in creative and all that. It's just mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. That, that, that takes dedication. Mm. All right, Samuel. Think. Let's go to the Q and A, please, if you don't mind. Oh Where yeah, let's do Did that. You go to the Q and A. I can't even go to the Q and A. I'm not a. I don't think I'm a, I'm a mod. What? <laughs> okay. I think I'm. I think I'm being Rambo right now in my Rambo account. So I'm not a mod. I can't see the Q and A. Oh uh, right, 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 right. Okay. So, go ahead. Questions. We have. Okay, so for anyone that missed it and that doesn't have access to this, we asked during the interview, what clip would you like to have seen played by the side strollers crew? This is like dream clip, you know, would have would have been like the best, most amazing thing for them to show. And we've had what have we got? Uh, the clip where he asks his distractors to seek mental help because they're actually insane. Yeah, a lot of that stuff. Fair enough. That, yeah, that'd be good. Um someone, yeah, Barrett agreeing with me about the identity theft. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, that that to me, that's the one, man. That, that I I would love to see him try and wriggle out. But I think we all know how he he would do just that. He would just beat around the bush and yeah. <laughs> wait, um, wait. Spec Van Kutchen. This guy puts in more effort effort in Phil's home in Minecraft than Phil does in his real life home. <laughs> 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 Very good point. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> the fake push-ups clip. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good one. Right. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, you could statement. literally do it. Yeah, like, all right, now your camera's set up so we can see that. Go ahead. Are you kidding? Come on. I can't do that. Ten push-ups, yeah. Phil. That'd be uh, great. Uh, War Dog Leader. Sorry. The D -D yeah. clip, yeah. Oh, I just yeah. de -D this. Come on. Go ahead, Sam. Uh, Bob Starsky showing the Derek apology clip and then a bit of Derek's Twitter feed. I mean... <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was a dark place. What was War Dog Leader? Leader? Sorry, I interrupted yeah. that. Yeah, War Dog Leader again. That'd be a, a good one. Um, oh, you mean the clip, right? I'm not yeah. suggesting the, the War Dog Leader clip, right? <laughs> King of yeah. suffering. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. When he called his viewers lazy, uh, showing he's a proud ally by saying by calling a trans person the T slur isn't offensive. Yeah, I think we yeah. did. We say that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a day, yeah. yeah. T slur is not offensive, dude. Yeah. Uh, you knew that. Small ally, Strong ally. 
Snorlax. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's kind of too much minutia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Snorlax. Um, but I mean, other than like the incident and the the, the um, say bankruptcy call and things like that, the big ones are obvious. So yeah, yeah. true. It's just not, it maybe was not a great question. The... I'll take the L on this one. My fault. No, it's a good question. It's just obviously people are going to have like a wide variety of deep cuts as well. And yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Hi, my friends. Let, let's uh, edit, can make one or two more good ones, Sam. The divorce line is very strict today. Okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, the, the hospital story has come up um, again. Right, he was never going to go to into. No, I can't like, talk about her she personal stuff. Anymore. Yeah, exactly. But but that would be great if if they could have played him the version of that though, the the animated <laughs> version. That would have been great. Um, Spec fan could LT. Could you pronounce my name with a soft H, please? Thanks. I am close. Sure. <laughs> Spec van. Kacha. Kacha. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully that pushed yeah. you over the edge. Sorry. Aerated shorts, bro. Invest. I don't know how this yeah. would come about, but the or why you would, but this is a good one. The, about the asthma inhaler. The uh the use. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just like explain yourself on the explain your line of thinking here, please. Because this is yeah. really insane. <laughs> That'd be good. But yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Got cool. Cool. Let's end there. Decepticon, where can we find you on the internet? What are you doing? Give us a little bit about you, please, before we kick you out. Yes. Uh, I do summary streams and documentaries on Phil and other locales, uh, just to have a shell segment. Uh, this Saturday, I will have a watch party on King Cobra with Indrid from the Tractor Beam. DSP reacts with Shinko this weekend as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. And cool. uh, next King of Hate documentary per soon. That, that soon TM. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, because Epicron has put together some uh pastor stuff, which is kind of cool. Like all in that. That was pretty cool, man. We put the like the, the documentary about the pastor and like it, it shows stuff that like you know, I know the pastor's cuff has kind of passed a little bit, but still it's cool. There's a lot of cool stuff uh, on the pastor when he wasn't crazy, you know. Yeah, no, um I guess the best part about pastor is that the memes we have from him, and that's yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, real quick, I want to say, like Meerkat gave us the order to make sure to call out the super chats. So I will do that now. Thanks so much, Dreaded End, for renewing their membership. Mad Max, thanks for uh, short Shorts Vault. Called you out before, but I'll say it again. Rel has renewed. Brad Burnian, Legend, Legend. It's a double edged sword. <laughs> I'll put that. How about this? I won't. I'll put it on uh, Twitter, but I'm not going to do that until the flare up tomorrow is the next time we're going to play that clip. I'm a marketing genius. Okay. So next time the double edged sword, double edged sword clip is coming out tomorrow, 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the flare up, bitches. Uh, Baltic Bro, legend, Dabby Issues, legend. And that is it for the contribution. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, she'll, she'll, street, she'll part at 8 30 tomorrow, flare up Sunday, 3K sub special quizzes, tier list. It's going to be insane. The tractor Beam's going to be there again, making the quiz like he did last time, which is legendary. Indrid's going to be here this time. Fun stuff, and maybe, maybe an epic reveal that's going to blow your minds. Aerated shorts, if you got them, bring them, because <laughs> you're going to need it. They're going to be blown out. out off, off, everything's going to be flying. Uh, but last words, please. Steve of the Dead, go. I really wish I'd written that double-edged sword joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> Thank you. Hear it again. Chance to hear it again tomorrow. <laughs> Samuel, please, send us home. Okay. Turkey burger. <laughs> that being said, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe, recommend to a friend, and if they stay as your friends, without taking offense, we hope to see you again someday. Hey, did you know this song is from Mario? You just want to go, go, get it, you know? Yes, Derek, we know. Now go. This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat, big ups. I first saw you in Burger King, you took two seats cause that ass is way too big, had a boyfriend I realized. Lies with your raccoon eyes. The door.
DoorDash is here. Wipe away your tears, got you extra fries, and they taste just right. Have no fear, there's no trolls here. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Raccoon. I actually don't think clicking like on a live stream helps at all. So it really doesn't matter if this this stream gets 100 likes or two. I don't think it affects it. My life, I feel like this next day is awesome. I, I, get, I have a, a beautiful wife who I love so much. She loves me and a family, Jasper. And, and, you know, the things we get to do together. Even though I definitely want more time with them and more family time. But I absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be. Seriously. All those years back then, you'd be like, it's a whirlwind of crap. It was me. And by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly, all the time, because I was so stressed out. I was, I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, a decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that. You know, it was, oh, I hate my life. I hate, I hate who I am. So let me just drink it all the way and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore. You know, like, I'm happy with who I am. If I were going to steal from an electronics store, I would steal a high dollar item. Burger.